Hello everyone. Um, welcome to the first, the very first um, broadcast <laughs> on Urban Prophet TV. Yes, yay! It's been a while coming and everything, and I'm really happy um, I'm finally getting to do them. Right. Um, let me introduce myself first of all. Uh, my name is Ona. My name is Ona Jajawachiku. And um, I'm a child of God. Um, I became born again uh, on the 28th of December in 2002. And uh, I was saved out of a lifestyle of deep and serious immorality. You know, I participated in all sorts of, all sorts of immoral stuff, you know. And uh, God saved me. And it was an incredible experience, which I will share in a later later broadcasts yeah so um at the moment i'm in uh northern cyprus in a city called kyrenia or guinea depending on you know, speaking turkish or greek and uh, uh i came here to get an mba from um, the american university here in guinea and i just finished so uh, i have an mba now glory be to god um, I started. I started the uh, being uh, into the whole clothing and apparel thing. I, I can't remember this dates are a bit fuzzy in my head, you know. But um, this is something I've been pursuing for a while, and uh, with God's help, I've overcome a lot of obstacles uh, to be where I am today in terms of life generally and the whole um, fashion or clothing. Thing. So yeah, that's it. That's about me, you know, in brief right now, you know, just for starters. Um, I'm going to introduce Urban Prophet. Urban Prophet is a Christian t-shirt line. That's the name, you know, it's like the brand name uh, for the t-shirt line. I'm wearing one of them. It has um, Yahweh Unlimited showing on it. And uh this is one of the first things we've done since uh, being out of Nigeria because I actually started um, printing these, uh, the, the t-shirts the um, when I was in Nigeria before I came here. And uh, yeah, so this is like one of the first batches we did. Uh, these were printed in the UK and uh, got sent out to me here and I took some of them to Nigeria. And uh, the, the, the response that I got was quite overwhelming every time i print t-shirts the response i get is overwhelming because apparently christians want to wear their faith on their bodies you know to proclaim their beliefs to proclaim the supremacy of their god and uh to proclaim his word you know urban prophet caters to uh different needs we have a word of affirmation we have uh words of praise to jesus christ and to the trinity father son and spirit we have um, words that minister to other people, the, the person who's reading it, so that's like evangelism and everything. And uh, yeah, we have a whole lot of, of things that we, we are yet to unveil, and I'm hoping that uh, you, the watcher, uh, would be take this journey with me, because it's, it's not so much about me, it's, uh, it's so much about the people that uh, are in the target market that I, that I have designated to reach out to. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, we'll talk about the concepts. And I, I wrote down here, I'm reading from a piece of paper, just for, for guidelines. Uh, every child who has the Spirit of God in them, their life is, is, is telling a story. You know, everybody who is saved by the grace of God, by the blood of the Lamb, who is filled by the Spirit of God, has a story. You know, each life has a story, and we have to realize this. And that's the whole thing about the whole pro uh, prophet thing, in that each person's life is either foretelling something about God, or foretelling, which is like you know, living sort of like living in the future. You know, and, and somebody can watch your life and, and see what God is going to do sometime in the future. And and examples of people like this is people in, from the Bible is David. You know, we have David who lived. A life that was completely, you know, out of this situation where he was living, because he he was living a life led by the Spirit even before the Spirit of God had been released, you know. 
and then we have Abraham and we have Joseph and we have Daniel you know and uh, these are people whose lives were telling a story which is what we read in the scriptures today and and have something to hold on to yeah so that's the concept you know so um, everybody's every every person who buys one of our t-shirts and wears it you know is one way or the other prophesying something about the God that they believe in you know either by their life the work they're doing you know I mean the whole your, your whole life is really telling a story to the people who are watching you know and, and and this is the part of Christianity where I think people have issues because you know, we all get caught up in going to church and proclaiming things by faith and then forget that our very lives are the things that the world sees and knows that that our God is is, is great in that he can take a fallen spirit and a fallen mind and totally renew it until something that is beautiful to behold and change somebody else's life. Right, so um, how, how, how did this start? It started out in Nigeria. I came out to Cyprus in September 2007. By the leading of the Spirit of God to study uh, international business, you know, as a as a as a master's degree, which I finished. I studied history at the University of Port Harcourt, and I've always had interest in like uh, being creative with clothes and everything. I have an aunt who is also uh, very creative with, with clothing and apparel, so it's always been there. And um, uh, I've done several things that have to do with clothing, but it, what I'm talking about Urban Prophet right now, the t-shirt line. So we started, we, it, was a, it, was, it was like something in my head, going on in my head for a really long time. And uh, I eventually started uh, printing these out, when was it? I can't remember. Early 2006 or late 2005 was the first time we had t-shirts that had, you know, well, I think the first thing I did was Jesus Rocks, you know. And it was the response I got was overwhelming, you know. I was like, how could I mean like we had it was it was overwhelming, you know, in those early days because it was literally a dream that I had and also people really appreciated what I was doing, you know. And we had a uh, I love I heart Jesus, you know, big bold letters and we had Jesus number one, I had Jesus freak. And it was it was it was fun getting those things out, you know. And unfortunately I didn't take any pictures because as soon as I get them out, they were gone, and I tried to make them uh, affordable for everyone, you know, keeping the cost down, which is still a, a strategy I use up till now. I try to keep the cost as low as possible so everybody can afford it, you know. Um, I want to say thank you to everyone who supported me. That I'm here and I'm talking, you know, like this, and we have a broadcast. There's so many people who have been strengths in my life it hasn't been easy when you decide to live a dream you know it's not easy especially a dream god gives to you you know it's like uh, you have to go through the whole process and want to pay your dues basically you know and it hasn't it hasn't been easy but i have i have friends who have encouraged me i have friends who bought the things from me i can't start calling names because i might call somebody's name and forget another person's name and it's not like i don't want to offend anyone you know, but the people who, who have been supportive to me, they know themselves. I want to thank God for his strength and his spirit and everything he's done for me. He's been, he's been, so, he's been so there. He gave me the dream and, and he sustained that dream in me even when it was like, this isn't going to work, you know. <laughs> yeah, so um, we have a Facebook page. We have a MySpace page. And uh, we have so many things going on there, blogs and uh, photos and whatnot, so you can have a, have a look at it. And uh, yeah, so this is just like a beginning. I look forward to doing more of these broadcasts and having more photographs. If you have feedback or anything, please, you know, send us a mail, urbanprofit at ymail.com, or just visit the Facebook thing and drop us a note or something. And um, well, um, we have a YouTube channel, so I'm going to be busy, you know, we have lots to talk about, you know, I will have interviews and uh, Skype interviews, interviews with people here and whatnot, yes, yeah, so thank you so much for watching, God bless you, abundantly bless you, strengthen you in every way, be strong in the strength of God, in Jesus' name, amen, bye.